Uh, I'm standing here, it's uh, August 2014, and I'm standing here in front of the permanent memorial sculptor dedicated to the memory of uh, James Joseph McGuinness, the only recipient uh, from Northern Ireland who won a VC uh, in the Second World War. And many, many people come uh, past this uh, permanent memorial and they don't even stop, they don't even look, and uh, they just, uh, they, they just um, are blind to it. But this guy was an amazing character. Uh, there's his photograph, or not his photograph, his sculptor there. And he uh, was born in 1919, it says at the bottom, died 1986. And uh, this, is, this tribute was unveiled in uh, October 1999 and was commissioned by Belfast City Council. Um, just had to, to show you what this boy was about. He was a diver uh, and he uh, was in a mini sub that in 1945 took out the uh, Japanese heavy cruiser uh, Takua um, in the Johar Strait at Singapore uh, 1945. He received his decoration from King George the 6th at Buckingham Palace in uh, December 1945. Uh, this guy was totally amazing. He planted six charges to the, uh, the side of the uh, Takoa cruiser and then came back to the mini sub. Um, the mini sub was caught and, uh, and couldn't move so he got out again. He, 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 he extracted himself from the mini sub again, and even though he was totally uh, shattered by the experience, he got out and he was able to uh, free the mini sub from uh, uh, that was caught on the bottom. Uh, absolutely amazing guy, the only guy, as I said, from Northern Ireland who uh, managed to receive uh, the VC the highest accolade for bravery uh, and the remarkable thing is that this uh, sculptor was only put up in 1999 um, this guy should have been decorated long before and given public recognition long before but the fact of the matter is that because he was a Catholic Unionist I'm afraid did not welcome him, even though he was in the Royal Navy and served with distinction. And from the other point of view, Catholics didn't welcome him either because he had served for the British forces. So he was ostracised and it was only in 99, 1999 that he was actually, uh, long after his death in 1986, that he was actually uh, awarded this uh, posthumous honour uh, of a permanent sculptor to his memory. Here we are at Belfast City Hall and uh, here we are in uh, uh, Protestant East Belfast. We're at uh, Tully Carnet on, uh, and this is the uh, most excellent mural dedicated to uh, James Joseph McGuinness, Catholic seaman, uh, who uh, was responsible for uh, a, a superb act of valour at Singapore where he took out uh, a heavy cruiser, Japanese cruiser, and uh, he just went uh, beyond and way beyond the second mile to do that. Um, and it's remarkable that on the edge of a staunchly Protestant estate we have this uh, superb mural to a Catholic uh, naval officer. Uh, as I said before, um, Diver McGuinness was the only recipient of the VC, the most coveted 
uh, accolade any uh, British soldier could ever receive. He was the only recipient from Northern Ireland during the whole of the Second World War and uh, many of us find this uh, rather remarkable uh, judging uh, by the acts of valour of other uh, naval and RAF and army personnel during that Second World War. Uh, for example, the exploits of uh, uh, Colonel Paddy, Paddy Mayen, uh, weren't recognised by the British government and uh, uh, there's all sorts of political reasons why, uh, why this was not the case. Um, but this guy, McGuinness, was absolutely something else. He was a hero of the Second World War. Right, we're on, we're on Concaver Avenue uh, at the edge of Clonduff. And uh, this looks like an ordinary street uh, to all intents and purposes, but actually this was where uh, James McGuinness was born at number 32 on Kiev Avenue. Um, uh, he spent some uh, of his early years at the edge of this Protestant estate. 